Hello everyone, it's Melly. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. If you're, please don't forget to subscribe down below. If you like my content, I will be very happy to welcome you into our community. And for those of you who return to my channel, thank you so very much. I really appreciate it. Today I have a special guest here with me. It's my goddaughter and my niece at the same time, Isaline. Hello. And uh, today we wanted to film together. I have her for three days at my house and she's helping me a lot, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she will pick my makeup. Mm -hmm. I don't know what she picked, I just showed her the step. But let's begin. So for the eyes, just tell me, is it a colorful palette or not? Mm. It is more neutral or colorful? plus coloré, mais colorful. Pas non plus. Ok, mm -hmm. c'est juste pour savoir si je commence par les yeux. C'est pas nude. Enfin, je okay. sais pas... So I will begin with the eyes. Mm -hmm. I will put my pillowies base on, do my eyebrows, and I will be right back to see which palette she chose for mm -hmm. me. Ok, so I did all that. Now, which palette? Du coup, j'aimerais que tu utilises, que tu utilises cette palette. Ok, so I have this one from Yuda Beauty, the nude, the new nude. Et en fait... Yeah. J'aimerais que tu utilises celui-là okay. en plus. Le... Ok, so I have this palette from Jaclyn Hill, the volume 2 from Morphe. And she wants me to use specifically this color called Therapy Sesh. Right here, a beautiful purple. Ok, and in this palette, do you have some colors that you want me to use or...? Mm. Pas, enfin, pas vraiment, mais tu vois, je me suis dit que c'est un peu violet et tout ça mm -hmm. pour aller avec. Ok. Very good, so let's do that. And I have this also that I have to use, it's from Beauty Bay. And it's Moonstone, the color Moonstone, it's a liquid crystal eyeshadow, really pretty. Mm -hmm. I will begin with the color Bear, just so that can help me to blend the color. So I will put it right here. Then I will do like a cut crease type of uh, shape and I'm going to use the color Spanked and I'm going to put that on the crease. Can you tell me why you chose this palette? Alors, euh, j'avais trop envie de te faire utiliser le violet qui avait dans la palette Jacqueline Hill. Mm -hmm. Et du coup, j'ai cherché un truc un peu genre euh, neutre, mais qui va quand même avec pour que ça, cette couleur elle fasse vraiment genre pop. Ok. Vois. To blend this color, I'm gonna use the color lace. Tu la vois apparaître ou pas Oui, ouais, comparé à l'autre côté, ça se voit un peu quand même. Okay. Mais c'est pas. C'est pas ouf. Oui. Mais même en fin de compte, par rapport à la pigmentation. Euh... Le trait là, il est déjà en train de se barrer, je trouve. T'as mm -hmm. vu là, la couleur elle a déjà. Euh... Oui, mais tu m'avais pas dit justement que la beauty c'était pas fou en termes de. Mm -hmm. ouais, un peu... Oui, bah c'était pour la dernière palette, la Mercury qui ouais. fait trop pâle. Mais là, du coup, tu vois, à force d'utiliser d'autres palettes et tout, c'est en fin de compte pas le meilleur. C'est un peu cher pour ce que c'est quoi. Oui, oui. Mais là, à chaque fois, j'arrête pas de revenir, ça veut pas. À chaque fois, j'ai l'impression qu'il mm -hmm. manque un. Juste là, là. Then I'm going to use the purple that you gave me in the Jaclyn Hill palette. I cut the crease, by the way. <laughs> and um, I'm going to put that on the lid. I cut the crease a little bit higher than my actual crease on purple, on purpose. Purpose? Pur purpose. <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> on purpose. Oh my god, yeah, well, you understood. Intentionally. <laughs> ah, c'est bien. Voilà, on voit. Hein. Ça ressemble bien comme je voulais. Good. Je me rappelle pas si t'as déjà fait des maquillages violets. Ah oui. Ouais, j'aime bien la couleur violette. Mm, moi, j'ai surtout genre, je sais, tu fais des trucs rouges, des trucs chauds et tout comme ça et tout. Oui, j'aime bien le orange. Ouais. Quand j'ai vu cette couleur, je me suis dit, oh là là. J'ai fait du violet en utilisant par exemple du Make-up Geek. Ça faisait un moment que j'en avais peut-être pas fait. Comme ça, c'est fait. 
Okay, so as you can see, uh, I put this color on the lid, uh, I continue on the outer V of the eye, and I left a space because I will use the Moonstone liquid that I have to use on this space. So I'm gonna use this uh, pencil, this brush, sorry, from BH Cosmetic, and I will take some of the product and then I will follow the white line that we have I'm gonna try with uh, this brush with uh, it's uh, a little bit smaller because I wanted something precise and I have glitter all over and I will put it in the inner corner as well Under the brows, I'm gonna use the color Daydream just to highlight under the brows. It's like a pinky reflect, so I think it's gonna match mm -hmm. with this eye look. Sorry, I have my brother and my husband talking to me. Mm -hmm. So that's why my phone is like going crazy. Mm -hmm. Primer now. Mm -hmm. What do I have okay. for primer? It's the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir and I'm gonna put just a little bit because I am now more oily than before. When I was pregnant I was more on the dry dry side. But now that I'm not anymore, my skin is like welcome back. <laughs> Okay, that's funny because I used it in one of my recent video. I think it was one of the last one. Um, I will put the video right here. And I was saying that I wanted to test it more because I'm not sure what I think about it at the moment. But it is the Baiteri Hyaluronic Hydra Foundation. It's not full coverage, it's more on the natural side. I have more redness today, so I hope that it will be enough to hide everything. <laughs> so it's not really, a f it's not actually at all full coverage. We can see all my perf imperfections right here, right here on my forehead. And it has some kind of powder finish, I have the impression, on the skin. I'm not really a fan of what is doing uh, on my nose at the moment, but I'm not sure if it is uh, because of the primer, maybe. Doesn't cover much, that's for sure. Okay, concealer, please tell me you have full coverage but for me. <laughs> okay, the wet and white, oh my god, it's the color light ivory. I don't remember what I think of it, but I think. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's gonna be quite dark compared to the foundation. We don't have this impression on the camera. No, ça va. Oh, yeah? I don't like the smell at all. Oh. Yeah, what in white? You have to do something about this because <laughs> like they're watching my videos. <laughs> but <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Uh, they have to do something about it because, wow, the foundation as well doesn't smell good. I'm gonna conceal as well some of my um, redness because I just want to today. Because I have a lot. Alors, j'ai pris la poudre. Oops, on voit rien. Qu'est-ce que tu trop près? La poudre Anastasia. You don't want to speak in English a little bit? No. <laughs> So I have the color vanilla and I will only set under my eyes and I'm going up also because I used some concealer. I will only do the nose as well. Look for bronzer. Yeah, very good. Uh, okay, this Fenty the cream Fenty Beauty. I really like this one. As you maybe know, but I have the color butter biscuit. I am using a sponge and it's a very natural color and you really can go wrong I have the impression with this uh, bronzer 
because it's quite a natural color mm. as you can see. I like to put some on my nose as well as you know the sun going on your face. For, for blush, what do you have for me? Ah, <laughs> that's so funny because it's some of the product that I use really in one of my recent videos, but that's all right. <laughs> so I have the By Terry Brightening CC blush that I have to use and it's really a yeah, beautiful, uh, beautiful blush. I put some product on my hand. Yeah, it's a beautiful color. Uh, it's really glowy, but not too much. And even if it's glowy and dewy, it's really um, quite natural on the on the skin. Like I said, I've, when I my video, I like to go on the temples, and it smells like rose. Mm. As you can see, it's very glowy. Wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alors, <laughs> but you go set. Okay, this one it's from BH Cosmetic and I will use the color cinnamon and I will set the Fenty cream with this color blush. Ah. So the same collection, I have a video with mm. uh, this collection right here from BH Cosmetic. C'est trop beau, donc... Euh... Yeah, I know. <laughs> Tell me. Entre ces deux -là. I can use both. Oh, oui, enfin, vous juste passez avec ce moche. Mm? No. So the color Just, Pe Just Peachy and Peach of Cake. <laughs> Les noms là-dedans. And set the battery. I love mixing blush actually. Ça tombe bien. I really like the the style of going in with the blush on the cheeks. I don't know, I like the effect of like really popping on the skin. Not really natural, but I don't care. Then highlight. Alors là j'hésite encore. Okay. Between lui encore et elle veille. Okay, Wet n Wild, the color Blossom Glow. Et lui, qui était mon premier choix. Uh -huh. And the Dior, 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 Dior. Uh, it's the nude luminizer Lolly Glow. Going in like that. I will go <laughs> with the Wet n Wild, going only right here. For a little, a little pop. Do you see that? Yeah, dingue. And on the nose, right on the cupid bow, and right here as well. Okay, good. Do you have a mist for me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's funny because it's really the product <laughs> that I used. I mean, I used it so recently. Okay. Uh, Beauty Maker Mist and Fist. Mm. Yeah, it smells good, but a little bit of alcohol. I have a little bit of alcohol, no? No, you don't know? No, I don't know. It doesn't smell like alcohol in mode du martini, you know? But... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so to let you know what I did, because I didn't want this video to be too long, I put the purple from the Jaclyn Hill palette under the eyes only on the other V and in the middle and in the beginning I put uh, the shadow from the new nude from Uda Beauty, the Daydream, this one that we put under the brows as well. I did a liner for, uh, with the NYX matte liquid liner, really good one, very precise and on the wider line I used the Makeup Geek nude for the lashes, she chose for me the Marc Jacobs Primer and the Marc Jacobs Mascara, this one. And what else? Oh, the lashes that I have on are from this brand. I think I put, I bought this one on Amazon, I think, I'm not so sure. Mm -hmm. But I don't know the brand, doesn't, doesn't say. Now for the lips. Okay, PH Cosmetic Nude 
that I used in one oh, of no. my friends. <laughs> But that's okay, too. it's a beautiful color. Oh, no, oh. Um, but that's fine. Oops, this one. It's from Natasha Denona. It's Athena. It's really the type of nude that I like more on the beige side instead of the pink. Okay, do we have lip gloss maybe? Ooh, the wet cherry gloss from Lime Crime. And it's oh, the Disco cool. Cherry. Oh no, I did mama. So here we go, we have the result. So what do you think? Do you like it? Are you satisfied? So I hope that you enjoyed the video. I was really happy to film with my goddaughter. And uh, like the video if you did like it. Share with a friend, love makeup as well. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.